Welcome to Equestrian Relief. Let the games begin. Launched by the organisers of the Liverpool International Horse Show, Equestrian Relief is a fundraising initiative which brings together the entire equestrian community with one purpose, and that is to raise money to support the frontline heroines of the NHS as they struggle against COVID-19. Couldn't be better, couldn't be simpler. All sorts of folk are involved in it, and that wonderful master of dressage, Richard Davison, spoke to Matt Millen a little earlier about why Richard himself was getting involved. When um, Nina and the team got in contact with you of doing this, what was your first reaction? Oh, I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Um, uh, you have been spending a lot of time on the tractor, you know, with the good weather and the, all the fields to do and everything. And uh, the, the thought had come to me that really, you know, we ought to get together as an equestrian community uh, and, and do something while we can for people that, that are perhaps, you know, not in such an, a good situation as ourselves, health-wise and, uh, and living-wise. And uh, so Nina's initiative came just at the, the right time. And, you know, every day we listen to the um, government reports and we hear the news and we hear the amazing stories of the care workers and the health workers. And, you know, now they're also facing up to the fact that they are losing colleagues themselves. And yet, it, they yeah. step up and they go in every day and they can't wait to go in and, and treat the COVID-19 patients. And uh, I, I mean, it, it's, uh, it's just breathtaking uh, and, and humbling. And uh, I mean, it's certainly got, uh, you know, tons of wartime camaraderie uh, and uh, responsibility to others. It's, it's amazing. So really, you know, having, Nina having created this opportunity for us in the equestrian world, you know, I was absolutely number one there. Yeah, I, you know, dead, I really want to get behind it and I don't mind how much of a fool I make. Uh, you know, all, all we want to do is, is raise money and provide also support and let the care workers and NHS know that we, we're really appreciating absolutely their amazing efforts. Absolutely. Richard, thank you so much for being part of it, the NHS Charities Together COVID-19. It's a great cause and we've been truly overwhelmed by the responses so far. But let's get down to business and let's have a look at the leaderboard. How do things stand right now? Team Eventing are still maintaining their early lead. However, Team Show Jumping South and Team Polo are hot on their heels. And if rumours are to be believed, that could all change tonight. Now it's time to share our entries for Horse Drawn. Here we asked the teams to come up with two members who could paint or draw a representation of their greatest single achievement. But of course, being a question relief, it also had to include their horse. And some of the stuff is truly wonderful. But this is a serious competition as well, as with all of our challenges. So we asked Julian Seaman if he would act as our judge. Julian is a terrific artist who does commissions for people around the world and also works with some of the greatest fashion houses as well. Lovely guy, top of his game. Uh, he studied at St Martin's, uh, where he's also a visiting tutor, and he also is a tutor at the Royal College of Art. We don't think we could have got a better judge. Let's take a look at who's taking part and let's have a peek at their works of art. Team Dressage, Richard Davison and Carl Hester. Phew, it's finally done, here, finished. My painting for the Equestrian Relief Art Challenge. Um, if you want to see it, it'll be published soon on the Liverpool International Horse Show website and follow the Equestrian Relief link. As you know, it's all in an amazing cause for the wonderful care workers and NHS frontline workers who are risking their own lives every hour, every day, every week against this terrible disease. If you could afford to donate, doesn't matter how small or how large, please go to the Equestrian Relief link. Thank you.
standard's been fantastic actually and it's been great fun to look at them and uh, later on of course we will uh, have the judging and the scores and we've got scores for ideas and scores for artistic merit and technique so let's go to the first one right well the first of uh, number one's team effort is a cartoon now it's quite difficult to do cartoons well but he's done really well right this is a family portrait father and son um, in the indoor school doing a display or maybe practicing for a display um, very nice touch on this because it's a nice easy watercolor very 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 competently done and uh, you can see the movement in the horses and that framed up in a possibly a fairly simple gilt frame would look very very nice on um, on anybody's wall and this is his final effort um, for me the best I think because um, it's very elegant very dare I say so arty but it's it's lovely I love this extravagant legs and uh, very sort of sketchily done but it's beautiful it's very very nice that that of his three I think uh, are is, is definitely my my favorite one on that so my plan is to do blueberry Barney booty and Dell so I'm going to do them cartoon style so first of all I've just divided up my uh, uh, my uh, just start so I can get each horse there across the pad. So I'm doing it this cartoon style, it's supposed to be a bit of fun and um, I'm going to do them like all with medals around their neck and they're having a party after the medal ceremony and that's what my basic painting is going to be. So I'm starting to add some colour to these four horses now and uh, it takes, it's, it's so much easier to do it. Um, <clears throat> thinking, you know, taking a little bit of the horse that I know, like with Vallegro, face is so obvious. Um, Utopia was so muscly, so, you know, like little, having little points like that to try and think. I feel, I'm trying to imagine what it would be like sitting on a, um, on a street corner in Paris. My name is Chalester. I'm just drawing my horses. So this is where I am so far. So I've, I've divided it up into the um, four bits. Well, they don't quite resemble what it will look like in <laughs> so, My four horses so far, but don't be alarmed. Hand round, Lucy. I think that's uh, metal style. So here we go. Um, they're dancing ponies, they're funny, they're terribly camp and if we can get close up in, I mean that's a fantastic bottom on that pony there, fantastic and they're dancing around, it looks a bit like sort of uh, village people really doesn't it but uh, good good fun stuff that. Team eventing, Zara Tyndall and Alex Watien. The abstract background I think is really nice. It's, it's quite sophisticated to do your background in a, in a very nice and loose way like that before actually putting the horse's head on. And uh, where this has worked terribly well, it's a lovely free coloured background, but it's loose, but the blaze on the horse just fits in so well with the background colours. So I'm uh, four hours into my horse-drawn challenge for equestrian relief uh, for NHS charities raising money for NHS heroes. Um, I've still got 
still got my t-shirt on from the other day. It hasn't had a wash, uh, so smelling a bit salty underneath. Um, I'll talk you through my strategy. I decided to draw this, um, paint this headshot of the Don. Nice, nice glint in his eye, trying to catch a bit of personality. And I was going to do a bit of a sketch as a stencil and then put that stencil over the top of an abstracty background. Um, but I thought, you know, go for a dark abstract background. Anyway, I ended up with that and I thought, mm, yeah, that's not gonna work. So I've just gone with trying to draw him and so far I'm, I'm relatively pleased. Um, I think the further away you are from it, the better it looks. <laughs> um, but you know, it is shaping up okay. I did sadly start at the bottom and I've run out of space for his ears. Uh, so I might just cut a little bit of extra bits to go on to make up for that. Uh, Cause I'm definitely not starting again. I love the, the Ampasto, the splodgy, really get in with it paint on that one. And we're not Munnings yet. I mean, Munnings was famous for managing to do that sort of thing. But it's got real sort of life to it. It's, it's very active. Again, slightly unfinished looking, but I, I love the, the vibrancy of it. Team Polo, Mark Tomlinson and Hazel Jackson. Just finishing off. Final touches have signed it. We're NHS Polo Team, book number three over here. I've copied it from this um, this photo over there. But it's safe to say that I'm not very talented when it comes to painting. But anyway, luckily Mark is really good at it and he has done an amazing painting. And I've got a lot of trust in his work. He's gonna take one for the team. So yeah. This is where we're at. It was super fun doing it. We haven't done any, um, I can't say I've done much painting before. So it's good to try. And all for a really good cause. So please donate to questionreleaf.com. Very nice black, black and white sketch down there with the NHS on the t-shirt, which is a nice touch there. Um, I quite like the idea of the black and white image with the rainbow colours. It could almost be a poster for, for a polo match or something. I, I like the idea of all the cups that they've won on the side there. Team presenters, Nick Luck and Rishi Passad. Right, so here we go, the result of the horse drawn challenge. Now, you don't get the right answer without showing you're working, or at least that's what I was told at school. So here we go. I wanted to paint Churchill Downs, the home of the Kentucky Derby, because it's somewhere I want to go this May, but which I can't because we're, we're all in lockdown and I wanted to express my emotions about that. So we started off and I, I got a photograph and drew a sketch drawing of a photograph I quite liked of Churchill Downs. That seemed to come out okay. So I started sketching a rose and a horse and saw where it might take me. So then I started on the watercolour and I've got to say, I don't really know what I'm doing, but it, uh, it kind, of, kind of came out all right, but it was, I just thought it was a bit twee. So I wanted to do something that was going to be a bit more expressive, expressionist, I suppose, I don't know. And, uh, and so this is what I, what I, ended, what I ended up with. Um, and this is the representation of Churchill Downs, the roses, the rump of the roses, the garland of roses around the winning horse, and more horses just in the corner here, just kind of representations of those. Uh, big, strong, bold colours. And I have called this Churchill Downs Will Meet Again in honour of the fact that the Queen went there in 2007 and her brilliant moving words to the nation when she addressed us all last Sunday. So there we are, Churchill Downs Will Meet Again. My entry for the Horse Drawn Challenge. Keep my fingers crossed that my fellow presenters um, don't hate me right now. You wouldn't actually think on an equestrian painting competition you get something quite as sort of modernistic as this, but I like it. I love the idea of the background, but there's the barn, there's the background. But if you look carefully to the right, there are three beautifully drawn abstract horses heads standing in a row.
Right, it's time for an update in the horse-drawn challenge. As you can tell from my face, my contribution has been limited so far. But what about my artistic companion? How are we doing? Well, it's been uh, great so far. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of mess. <laughs> and um, because we've been working hard and we hope it will win. And either way, uh, we would love to raise lots of money for the NHS and the rest of the hospitals around. Spot on. So the way we can raise money is if you go to the Virgin Giving Money site. The link is Equestrian Relief 2020. Whatever you can donate, we'll appreciate. Thank you. The paramedics for horses, horses on the on the uh, gurney there, being pushed. It's, it's it's a nice. It's a very very good idea actually. In you know equestrian horse uh, service and all that. Uh, health service and thank you NHS it's very very much within the the feeling of what we're all trying to do here um, and it's it's beautifully done team racing Rachel Lugo and Ollie Bell my final challenge for question relief is a painting so um, I was going to do it in a different costume, but then I thought, actually, we're doing all this to fundraise for the NHS COVID-19 crisis fund for the incredible people on the front line. So I thought, what better than to put on my Mrs. Incredible costume again to pay homage to everybody out there on the front line. Getting there slowly but surely. Maybe another three hours to finish it off, and then I'll show you the horse that it's um, based on. Fifi, my chestnut in there. Look, do you like it? Ooh. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> Does that mean she likes it or not? own charm to be perfectly honest and I love the idea that the the fence is very very boldly done and then there's this grass beautiful grass it's almost like an outside view of the horse coming over the fence I've been out of Johnny, make some progress, moving and finessing on the low. It's the final countdown! What I really like is that it's clever because you've got the three heads there and it would be terribly obvious to do the fourth one, but no, that one's having a bit of a graze. So it's, it's funny, it's pretty competently painted, and say flat colour painting is much more difficult than, than a lot of people realise. Team show jumping North, Ellen Whitaker and Harry Charles. Now this is very striking, uh, very, very bold. I love the idea of doing it on the black paper uh, with just seeing the light hitting the nostrils, the nose, and then with the visor on. Um, it's, it's, it's a very, very professional looking picture. Uh, and I love the idea just of the light coming down onto the ear there. Just sort of 
could have done, I think, with a little bit more work, um, a little bit of lighting on the nostril, which we saw in some of the earlier ones. And I'm going to do a little trick for you here with me art school hat on, because um, with the eye, uh, what it really needs to bring it to life is just a little white dot. Team Show Jumping South, Daisy Bunn and Jess Mendoza. Hey guys, so today is paint day. Um, I'm going to be painting one of my best horses, Spirit T. Please don't forget to donate to www.equestrianrelief.com for all the amazing NHS workers. actually to completely crop the horse's head um, but I quite like that and the, I love the light on the on the top of the eye and coming down there with the, with the bridle um, this bit I think works really well if you're going to do something as beautifully rendered as this um, I personally would have taken a bit more care with the Olympic rings um, because you know they're a bit free free style freehand Whereas actually, if you'd stenciled them or done something a bit tighter, uh, because this is properly tight. So joking aside, um, I really am the worst painter of all time. Everyone thinks I'm being falsely modest, but I really, really am rubbish. Um, and having seen some of the other amazing talents on show, and bearing in mind that this is being auctioned off, <laughs> I didn't think mine would make anything if I just did a little stick horse. So I have, as you've seen, the pits and beautiful spring-like flowers. Um, to represent the Great British Spring and all the different colours of the NHS. Uh, and I am now going to use some paint to do something with these guys. Fingers crossed! We are all done. Can you look how cool the little flowers look all covered in gold? But they do look wicked. And I mean, the tulips have got to be my favourite, shining away in the spring sunshine. Anyway, there's my gold thing. Last finishing touches to my terrible painting come harvest offering. Great letter! Prepare to be wowed. Now, this is a bit of a quirky one because, um, as far as I knew, the brief was actually meant to include a horse in it. But uh, this, I think, is a rosette um, by the by the look of things. Um, anyway, let's let's see it for what it is. Um, so at first glance, it looks a bit like a Technicolor yawn, but I do like the creativity of getting stuck in. I mean, definitely the artist here has really had, had a bit of a go and enjoyed sort of, you might say, getting their hands dirty on it. Well, that's the most enormous fun, judging those fantastic pictures. I had no idea that there are so many talented artists in the equestrian world, and uh, it's so different the ideas and the creativity of the whole thing was fantastic to see. So, the winner is number 13, which I gave 10 for the idea and 9 for the execution. You will remember it's the back end of the racehorses in colours, in flat colour, quirky idea, fantastically quirky idea, very, very well done, 
I can see that as a postcard. It's fantastic. So well done, everybody. Everybody, all 14 of you. It was so, so nice to see it all. And let's hope we make lots of money for the NHS. Well done. Wow, there really is some impressive artistic skill out there in the equestrian community. Now, don't forget, apart from enjoying it, you can also own it. Just go to our auction. That's via www.equestrianrelief.com. And up in the top right hand corner, you'll find a little logo that will take you straight to the auction. And apart from those amazing works of art that we've just been enjoying, there are things like a gin experience. There's a holiday in Barbados. There's personal signed memorabilia from all of our great stars as well. And also some money can't buy experiences uh, uh, that are involved in equestrian support. Well, money can buy it because you can bid for it. It's never on the market, but it is at Equestrian Relief. So get in there, uh, get yourself a bargain, but also help us support the uh, NHS heroes and heroines in their battle against COVID-19. I'm sure many of you have had plans ruined this weekend uh, because of the rules about staying in and uh, not meeting up with people and staying two metres apart please remember that those rules really do matter. We're raising this money to help the NHS heroes and heroines in the battle with COVID-19, but you can do that as well. Whether you donate, whether you go to the auction or whatever, just stay at home and stay safe because that really will help those heroes and heroines in the NHS get through this. It'll help you get through it, but more importantly, it will help them get through it. We caught up with some of our contestants and asked them how they're coping with staying at home and what they're getting up to, including completing our tasks. Just um, tell us, how have you been coping with, with self-isolation? Someone said they'd spotted you on a digger. Is this true? Yes, I'm, I'm quite lucky, as that uh, obviously we've been a land here and, and there was things that needed done. And I'm going to take the positive out of this horrible situation that we're all in and think that I've got to do things that I wouldn't have been able to do. I actually was in my car uh, yesterday morning for the first time in two and a half weeks. It hasn't been out to drive, so, um, you know, so I, I again, all that work that those NHS workers are doing to help us all, it's very important that we do the right thing and, and, and do our little bit. It's not that difficult to stay at home, hard knowledge you may think it is, but when you go into them hospitals and you see what they're doing, um, the least we can do is stay at home and do our little bit to help them out, you know. Absolutely, echoed by all of us. You all of you are phenomenal athletes in your own right as, as human beings, but also you work with phenomenal athletes, in your case, the string of polo ponies. Are you getting a bit stir crazy by it all? There you are, you know, you're stuck at home and the ponies are in their stable. I mean, I'm sure you can you can take them out and exercise them a bit and what have you. But is it a sense of being a bit stir crazy as well? Oh, it's killing me. You have no idea how much. I mean, I'm sure like any other question, we are on the move all day long, every single day, because there's always stuff to be done with horses. But on top of that, you know, most most of us as athletes now, we really look after our bodies. So we're doing a lot of physical work as well. Um, my horses are stuck in a field doing nothing. I've completely respected the fact that we need to stay on lockdown and I have not even brought them into work yet this year cannot wait until the day I can but however until then I mean I want to play by the rules make sure that no one puts a foot out of line no you know my grooms or whatever and I'm not working so um yeah of course it's driving me crazy but I'm trying to you know keep a diary try and do productive things every single day I'm learning new skills that's for sure I finally learned how to cook <laughs> Now we've just got one more challenge to go and it's a very, very special one. It is Dark Horse. It's the search for that hidden, extraordinary, unusual, never heard of before talent from two competitors from each team. It may be musical, it may be artistic, it may be magical, it may be, well, it could be anything. 
but it's got to be a kind of secret. I didn't know he could do that. I didn't know that she could do that. I think it's going to be a huge amount of fun, but not only fun. The question really from the start has been very serious about making sure that this is transparent, honest and properly judged. And we've had great judges from start to finish. For the last round, two absolute superstars. We have the people's tenor, Russell Watson, who has graced the television screens and has graced the Royal Albert Hall and has graced the DVD recording studios and is just such a lovely guy as well. So he's one. And two, well, how about somebody who loves horses and somebody who knows a little bit about talent spotting? and also knows a little bit about what it's like to live and work in the country. Yeah, we got a the great Nicky Chapman, who you'll know from Pop Idol, you'll know from Escape to the Country, but also you'll know from attending various equestrian events as well. She's got a sharp eye for talent, and she's got a sharp eye for the imaginative things that these great equestrians are able to do. It's a great lineup of celebrities. It's a great lineup of judges. Join me again at seven o'clock tomorrow and see what they made of them. I think it could be really terrific. And remember, stay safe this weekend, abide by those rules and keep supporting Equestrian Relief. It's a great challenge and it's a great cause.